A super special shout out to my awesome YouTube members and patrons Riptide, Anik D, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yishika Bay, Madlo, Lucky Charms, Sam Medina, and Blaubia Cookie for your amazing support. And welcome back to Simnays that I undid Legacy Mod. So, what I have done is <laughs> place all of these down. Luckily, when I placed these beds down, I was able to pick this one up, place it back down without getting like the same bug we have over here. For those of you wondering what I'm talking about, these blocks over here are all bugged. Um, I still have to go and try like nuke them just to try to see if some explosives will fix them but i don't really want to use explosives down here because i'm afraid it's gonna destroy my base i want to see something v-sync is supposed to be on yeah it's on if it's off uh let me just show you guys this if v-sync is completely off and you go under f8 and you'll see my frames are like 100 and something right or with all this texture it's about 80. when i put v-sync on Vsync on. Boom, apply. Now I do it, it's supposed to get stuck at 60, but it stays 100 and something. So I don't know if my GPU perhaps has a setting that keeps it this high. It's not supposed to be this high. Because the moment there's a little bit of lag, the recording software actually shows it like crazy. Okay, so what I want to do quickly is we are gonna go and range these TVs and stuff. Um technically I think I should start with these because they might give us gears. Um, if I'm lucky enough to get some gears from these guys, we just need two. And then we'll be able to go and make ourselves the second range, and with that range we'll be able to make ourselves a workbench. Even if we don't get gears right now, hopefully we get enough resources to make other stuff, and then also we do have this range and we can repair it easily. So what I want to do then is go and range cars, because there has to be gears on cars. There are at least a few vehicles in the vicinity of here. Um, I'm actually think, I think I'm just making myself like a mini bike or a bicycle or something like that, just so I can actually move around. At the moment, it seems I'm really unfortunate. Okay, this doesn't seem to be giving gears. At least it gives other stuff. But yeah, unfortunately at the moment, we are so slow we run out of stamina. I want to go to other biomes, even at nighttime, and loot to my heart's content. So we need to be able to go out there when it's even nighttime and loot and not worry about, oh no, the zombies are going to catch us. So if we have a vehicle to drive around and all just make sure like we have some kind of energy drink that can make us go faster. Um, yeah, that might actually help us because we need to go and range at night and loot at night and just have some fun. We don't have to go into POIs because that's super dangerous. But I want to be able to go and just walk outside and go for cars and stuff. At the moment, there are so many cars just in the outskirts of town. There are so many cars that actually have stuff that we haven't looted yet that still needs to be lockpicked. Um, at least now we do have the time charger. I'm actually thinking of using time chargers for vehicles that are locked. Especially if it's like a really cool vehicle. But if you can find like the snow biome or the desert biome, guys, that's where the vehicles have like a ton of loot. And there's a chance that you can get some really good stuff from them. I mean, if you go to the wasteland, those cars have the chance for like the Valkyrie and stuff. So if we can get really great tools, that'd be awesome. It appears though that they require like advanced repair kits to repair. So unfortunately, if they break the advanced tools like that, we have a problem. But... It's not like we're going to use those over like picks and stuff. Only if like we find like titanium and stuff like that we want to break, then at least we know we have the tools for that. See, those circuit boards we're getting right now, that's going to help us with our storage. I literally just need a workbench so we can make a wrench, so we can make uh, ourselves better storages as well. I just hope when we start picking up these boxes, they don't also bug out because that's going to really, really suck. Come on, give me more stuff. The amount of circuit boards we're getting right now is awesome. It is a shame that we had to sell a few things uh, that might have come in handy right about now, but at least it seems you're getting quite a bit of good loot. It's not super, super bad at the moment. What do you need for the large boxes again? See, we have everything over here for the workbench, but that includes this range. I don't want to use this range right now. So if we go for large, iron storage, that's titanium, steel, secure, steel safe, large iron. We just need a workbench. We need hinges, which we can easily make. We need plates. Uh, we need springs. So when we wrench this, uh, the beds and we wrench um, stuff as well, we can actually make ourselves nuts and bolts and stuff. But the springs we're going to get from these beds anyway. That's why I didn't want to wrench too many beds because I know we can actually get springs from it. Even those king size ones that I sold to the trader, you can get quite a bit of uh, springs from that. So I am definitely going to have to go back. I wonder if I shouldn't go back to that um, hotel place or motel place during nighttime. It's going to give me something to do because I still need to pick up all the stuff downstairs. So if I can at least get all the beds and stuff from over there, bring them back here, just range over here where it's safe, then we can actually get ourselves quite a bit of resources. 
I think that's a clever thing to do because there are, I think, three vehicles over there as well that we can wrench. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm getting so heavy right now. See, I'm focusing currently on upping my... Am I wearing the right glasses? Yes. I'm focusing on upping my um, adventurer skill, but we are going to have to focus on upping stuff like... Let's see if I can't put this away. Where can I put these? I need to up my carry perks and all that stuff as well. We need to be able to carry way more. Okay, electricity, scrap wire, that goes with resources. Okay, so now all I have to do is food and water still doing fine. I think let's go back to the metal we did last episode. And if I can just pick up all the stuff that's there, get the vehicles, get the resources. If I can get lucky and get gears from those three vehicles, that will help us tremendously. Okay, I'm going to skip you for now. Come on, come on, come on, get there before night time. Oh, we do have these, some of these green plates. No, I only picked up one, right? I picked up a few, but we only have one left. We still have those things we can actually go and wrench as well. So I just want to see if we wrench this vehicle. What are we going to get from this one vehicle over here? If I get the two gears, then I know by the time we come back from the motel, we'll be able to make ourselves the wrench and stuff. Okay, so what are you going to give me? Please, 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 please. Ball bearings, okay. That's still the first level. Like a full car. So the second level gives us like radiators and parts and stuff. Last level gives us... Come on, I need those gears. It seems there's a very low chance of getting the gears, unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna scrap these vans and things because we don't need them. Come on, 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 it's getting dark, it's getting dark. Okay, these are good, but I need the gears, not the coppers and stuff. Okay, this we can actually open up with this, but it makes noise. I uh, should probably loot it before it breaks. It feels like the in-game sound is way too low at the moment. Let me just speed check something. Options, audio, it's supposed to be 40, yeah. For some reason, that sounds so low. I'm not hearing the night sounds. Ooh, car wheel, nice. We just got a car wheel from a car. That makes sense, but still. For those of you wondering uh, what am I talking about, I actually got my wheels from like the barn where we faced the Horde Knight. They are like tanks. I don't know what kind of tanks they are. Or if they represent like trailers and stuff, but there were tanks there. And all I had to do was go and range the tanks and I was set. Not range the tanks, I could pick up the wheels from those tanks. Okay, I'm going to have to go back to the base and drop all the stuff off first. Nice, another car wheel. That's really great. I'm going to have to go and first drop these things off because they're way too uh, full. And then I need to go to the motel. Oh, engine. Oh, no, I have to range. I'm so heavy right now. I'm so heavy right now. If something attacks you right now, I'm dead. I don't going to take to scrap this. One minute something. I might want to try and uh, scrap these and while they're scrapping, run. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it back to the base right now. Please don't die, John. Please don't die, John. I'm going to turn off this light. I'm going to scrap those things and I'll be right back. Okay, this is annoying, guys. I have to literally do this. I can walk with one on me, but not with both on me. I have, to, I have to do this all the way here just to make it back to the base. I want to go to the, mo the motel so badly during night time. Damn, it's already almost 12. Okay, at least we can drop stuff like that, so it helps us a ton, but still. Okay, now we can make a truck repair kit if we can, if we want to. Do I want the 4x4 truck or do I want the other stuff? Ah, it's, it's really hard to decide. Okay, anyways, let me just quickly put these things away. I need to go to the motel as soon as possible. At least we do have some repair kits, but I wonder if I shouldn't repair over here. We can easily go and just do this, because it's going to take plates. We have so many plates right now. Boom. Yeah. All I have to do is quickly go to the motel again, and then hopefully we get all those beds and springs and stuff. So I'll see you guys either there or if something happens. Okay, I'm quickly making sure that I grabbed all the stuff upstairs of here. I got lucky in one of the bottom bathrooms, and I got myself some steroids. I, it's not really helping that much. Um, I only have 279 storage, so I'm almost full. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go back to the base and then come back again just for these vehicles over here. Because just the engines alone from those vehicles are going to be way too heavy to carry. I just need to make sure we get these pot plants as well, guys, because uh, we need the clay. Um, from the five or six whatever pallets over there, plus the clay we have right now, we should have enough clay to make ourselves quite a few blocks, and that's going to help us tremendously. Uh, if I can just jump down somewhere... I still have to go check for the pot ponds over there, and then I just have to range the vehicles down here. And then also range the final room and the final room over there. 
if I can get that done, we'll actually have enough resources. Uh, but so far, we haven't gotten lucky with any gears or anything. I really, 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 really desperately need some gears right now so we can make the last wrench. Not last, it's going to be the first of many. But we need that wrench for the workbench. Without that workbench, we can't do anything further. So everything is hanging upon whether we can actually get two more gears. Just two. At the moment, I'm trying to wrench as much as possible to see if we can actually get the gears. Hopefully we get lucky from those vehicles that are still left there. If we can just get two, guys, literally just two, we can make a wrench. And then as we come across more gears, we'll be able to do more. At the moment, we just need to make it at uh, this assembly station and we'll be able to take stuff apart way better. But what I need to do is get into the habit of instead of picking stuff up, just wrenching them, but it makes so much noise and it takes so long that I've found it's actually just way easier picking it up and then if you want to break it, you can break it at the base. For example, we now have beds on us that we want to actually go and disassemble. I can either sell it over here because we're going to get quite a bit of cash. So if you sell all of these, it's 330. But I need to keep these now. The lights we can actually let go of. Um, these might have motherboards and chips in them. This one I can actually sell. Sell, sell. And also we got from the two vending machines over there, we only got four plates. Unfortunately, we didn't really get that much. I just don't know how we are so full. At the moment, we are super, super, super full. I'm so tempted to buy the bricks. <laughs> just because I know we need them. If I had those bricks, you can actually make our wood base even better. Okay, so for now, we're going to have to drop this stuff off. Uh, while the steroids are active, I want to go for the vehicle stuff. Because I know the engines, all that stuff do get heavy. So while we have the steroids, I want to wrench as many vehicles as possible. Unfortunately, I haven't really come across that many steroids um, this often. So... Yeah, usually I actually run into uh, steroids quite a bit, and now all of a sudden, I'm not getting it anywhere. Okay, let me just quickly do an inventory management, and then we will go back. Let me just see. Warning, stone. How many stone help can make? 128. I'm actually thinking of doing that. Although, that's going to be all of our big stones, so if I can just go for 100 for now. Um, I need to make sure we can make our wood base nice and thick, and then from there, we can go for the brick shape. And yeah, nothing else we can make right now, right? Wooden frames, perhaps. 63, let's go for 20 again. We just want to be able to stack up and away from zombies. We don't want to waste all our resources right now. So craft that. Nothing we want to really repair right now, although the range is starting to get low again. And then these plates we're going to use for when we need them. So for now, yeah, just going to drop all the stuff off, go back to the place, see if we can't range those vehicles, and then guys, we need to range more vehicles. I literally only need two more of these gears, and then we can make a range. Ingots. Okay, yeah, let me just quickly put everything away and I'll see you guys there. Okay, I feel so dumb. While doing a little bit of management of here, I just realized we have 20 uh, weight just there. So yeah, we need to make sure all of this stuff, even this being 9, it's supposed to be empty uh, when you're carrying it around. I'm carrying around a ton of gas right now. Let me just do this. Right, this is the only stuff we have on us, but we shouldn't be running around with these blocks. If I accidentally waste them again, I'm going to be so mad at myself. Uh, yeah, we can put those over there, resources go over here, and miscellaneous over here. But yeah, now just to go to that place and see if we can't get this done. Uh, we do need to see if we can't get ourselves a gas barrel as soon as possible. Because if I can actually just store all my gas here at the base instead of carrying it around all over, that might actually help tremendously. I am so glad I'm grabbing some of this mineral water every now and then. My water was super low just now, didn't realize, and luckily we had this stuff on us, so that helps us a ton. Let me put this away. Now I just have to go and wrench the vehicles. That one's damaged, so I have to do this. I just still have to go and wrench the vehicles, and then we are done. But I need the gears. I'm trying to figure out what gives you gears. The fact that that just gave me a circuit board means in the disassembly station we might be able to do that one. And then to be safe, they just stand on the roof of the vehicle we're wrenching. We don't want to be all of a sudden surprised by a zombie from the side. Also, I need to keep an eye on what we get from the vehicle right now. And also what level vehicle there has to be to get the other gears. Second level. Okay, cool. We just got one gear. Now we need one more gear. Literally one more gear and then we can actually go and make ourselves the wrench. And then we can make ourselves a workbench. And when we finally have... Ooh. Ooh, you just give me a fright. Where do you come from? All the way back here somehow. I don't know how you got in here. Trying to figure out how the hell you got in here. Oh. 
It must have come from upstairs or something. I don't know where that dude just came from. Okay, please, 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 please. I just need those rain, uh, those gears. Literally one more gear and we are set from this level. It's, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so it's the second level of a vehicle. Basically, the last level that you can still loot before it's like this where it's just a frame. Nice, now I know what to look for as well. Which means around if I see a vehicle that's not a full vehicle and not a frame just in between, we know, okay, cool, we can get a gear from that. Please tell me there's no zombies up to stairs because they're going to fall my head right now. Okay, I think I have wrenched and picked up everything from this place. Now, even all of the, how do you call it, the clay pot plants and stuff. So, yeah, we have quite a bit of clay we can still use. Um, I'm just going to have to go mining again because I am a little bit low on stone. But yeah, with this, we can actually start making our horde base now. Lead car battery, not bad. The fact that we are, Ooh! We have five gears. If we get two more gears, we'll be able to go and make two wrenches. Truck wheel, nice, nice, nice. Although that was super heavy just now as well. The only problem with running around wrenching like this is you're carrying a ton of stuff, so you're always heavy. That's why you need a vehicle of your own. If you loot like car parts and engine parts and all that stuff, it's super, super heavy. So as soon as you have a vehicle to ride around in, you have to put it in there. This one doesn't have multiple levels, right? It only has the one. Yep. Okay, unfortunately, I only still have five gears. I wonder if on the way back, we shouldn't try and range more cars while the steroids are still active. I just need to be careful because we are almost... No, we're still 100 away. I was about to say, we are almost encumbered, but that's not the case. Come on, where are vehicles? It's literally just the lo the last vehicle that you can loot, the, the level of the vehicle. I always say it's one, two, three. Three is a full car. Two is it's almost not lootable, and one is like it's just a frame. Uh, you can't loot the frame of a vehicle. Now, where are vehicles? Are you going to tell me now that the only vehicles... Oh, there might be a vehicle over here. Um, yeah, now that we need a vehicle, we can't find vehicles. <laughs> I need to take these off the poles and range them, but I, I took like three or four off the other episode. See, this level is too low. This is not going to give us gears. But I took like three or four of a pole last time, and when I went to the base to try and range them, or take them apart, I only had one. There's a wandering horde right now. I hope so, actually, because I want to kill some zombies. Let me just see. Hello, hello. Yeah, okay, stamina is really low right now. Ooh, I want to get all these zombies. Hello, 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 hello. There you go. If all of you guys can just walk into the pits over here, that's going to give me some awesome XP. Okay. Uh, there's still a ton of zombies over here. Come on, my steroids aren't going to last that long. I can't afford to play with you guys. I need to kill all of these in one big group of fire. Come on, come on, come on. It does make sense that some zombies walk fast, some walk slow, but some of these slow ones are just so infuriating. Come on, walk faster. If I can get you guys in one big nice circle, we are set. Perhaps if I can make like a door and just hide inside of it. Ooh, if I walk around with the door, we might actually be able to do that. Come on guys, come on guys, come on guys. Where are you going, lady? Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm trying to walk in a circle as much as possible to make sure the slow ones and the fast ones catch up with each other. But it's always a little bit difficult because some just lose interest, like that big dude just now. Okay, if you throw right there, it should hit all of them. Nice. This lady, okay, she's the only one that's going to be in the way right now. And there were still a few not in the fire, that's bad. Come on, oh, hello, 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 hello. Did not realize you were this close just now. I need to make sure that they don't die from the fire and then I hit them like just now. It's such a waste of stamina if that happens. I could actually throw... Yeah, I'm going to throw one more molly. Come on, there you go. They all should die from the fire right now, but I want to make sure we can actually get to the cars. So if we can kill these girls, building guys with some fire, we might be actually have more time for ourselves for the vehicles. Ooh, I didn't even realize it was looted there, nice. Or steroids, yes! I can't believe I'm ch uh, cheering the fact that I'm getting that stuff. But that's so awesome because you can actually just... Especially when you're going on like a run like I am now where you need vehicles and stuff. Just pop one, uh, one of those and you're able to carry so much more. The base is that direction, so I should probably run this way, but... Uh, 
There's definitely going to be vehicles in the town center. Although, with the vehicles and stuff, uh, since it's the town center, there's going to be more zombies as well. Right now, I don't care about the zombies at all, just the vehicles. Literally two more gears, guys, and we can make two wrenches. Come on. And I'm not seeing any vehicles now that we actually need vehicles. I think there might actually be a vehicle in that barn over there, but I can't afford to stop and check. Let's make sure this is ready to go. Oh, there's a vehicle right there. Uh, we always have to make sure the gun is reloaded and ready to go. Just now we walk into like a pig, especially over here if they respawn. We might walk into a pig or a dog or something and then we need to shoot. Come on, come on, come on. Please tell me this is a rangeable state. Ah, uh, no. I'm still going to go for it because I mean it's yeah. So we need more stamina. We do have some coffee we can drink. Our water's going to go up from that as well. Yeah, I just make sure we don't run out of stamina too often. But for those of you looking for some vehicle tires and you don't want to wrench a ton of vehicles, uh, if you come to this barn for Horde Knight, there's actually these tanks with wheels on them and you can just take the wheels right off the tank. Like those tanks over there, they had wheels on them and I just took them off and voila, we had vehicle or we had wheels for the vehicles. I think it was this one over here. Oh, vehicle. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on, come on. I really don't want to use this tower again for Horde Knight. I want to make my own base before it's too late. Probably kill that chicken, but for now I'm more interested in the vehicles. This is super loud doing this way, but this is the fastest way to do it. Although the, this is the worst biome to do that in because the loot inside the vehicles is not worth wasting a time charge. But unfortunately, since we need this right now... Ooh. What is that place right there? No, it's not what we're looking for. I'm looking for this one with the cars. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. I need uh, gears... Yes, gears plus one. I didn't pay attention. How many do we have right now? I need one more gear and we can make two ranges. Nice. The nice thing is we made so many plates. We'll definitely be able to do this. We just need the vehicles now for it. We have to go that direction. There's another vehicle right here. So while we're here, we can just all go for it. It doesn't make uh, sense going back and forth and back and forth. So while you're in the area, just do what you need to do. Even if I do want to go hand in this to the trader and see if I can't get some cash. We need these gears like crazy. If I can have that workbench, guys, we'll be able to make ourselves some large storages. And then our storage situation is going to be cleared up. Although, yeah, I have a little bit of a problem now with those bugged blocks. Do I really want to make a horde base above the bunker? Or do I want to make it a little bit sideways from the bunker? Because I think that chunk might be a little bit damaged. Still only six. Oh, that sucks. But I have to start going back to the base. If we come across another vehicle, we'll try and wrench it. But at the moment, it's not looking good. I really just need like one more good vehicle that I can wrench. Just realized we are on or really close to the road over here, so just go for these vehicles. And there are so many vehicles over here because there's two there, one here, two there, and there's one by us actually. So yeah, we just need that one more, and then for now it's fine. Later, yeah, there you go, gears. Later we can go and actually get more gears and stuff if we really need it to. Uh, because I mean, there are so many vehicles. What I need to do now is carry this range everywhere. If I come across a POI with a vehicle, wrench it immediately. Ooh, some iron over here. If I just go for this top block over here and the floor, a uh, floor underneath it, we should get quite a bit. But at the moment, we're almost full. If I wrench that, or if I uh, pick up that iron right now, we're not going to be able to move. Need to get back to the base. The nice thing is we are very close. So all I have to do is quickly drop all of this off. Just make sure the wrenches are in production. And then voila. I need to make sure I don't accidentally use my wrench though. So first things first, we make the wrench and then we make the workbench. If I accidentally make the workbench now, we're going to lose a D-quality wrench. I need to be careful in this area as well because there is a spider zombie walking around. Ooh, just realized I didn't accept a new quest from the trader yet. Uh, okay, on the way out, we can actually just quickly accept that quest. I need that shotgun, so we need about 3,000 coins. Um, at the moment, though, I'm not really that into whether, uh, whether I'm going to need the coins right now or not. As long as we just get everything else done. So Blacksmith's Forge. We don't need that. We need a wrench. Come on. There you go. Wrench. We can make two, right? Yes. Nice. And that's actually fast. 37 seconds. So while we wait for that, let's just quickly put everything else away. This we can actually sell. Uh, or scrap. Um, Let's sell it. Yeah. Let me just quickly put everything away. And then as soon as the wrenches are done, we can actually make ourselves the workbench. It's a shame that you can't also do this broadcast thing in reverse. Imagine being able to drop resources in reverse as well. It would save so much time and effort. 
Okay, that range is supposed to be done right now. So let me just click check. Come on, there you go. Vehicle, engine and battery I want to put over here. Nope, I want to do this. We do have some stuff over here that we crafted. We do have the range that should be done. Oh, both of them are done. Nice. And then we can make a workbench. I'm going to keep... I wonder if I should make two workbenches or just the one. I think just the one for now is fine because we need the bench vice and stuff as well. Although these we should be able to make inside the blacksmith's forge anyways. Okay, and then this we can put away for now. Where do I put that? And then this we can scrap for some more clay. The more clay and the more stone we have right now, the more we're able to make blocks. But I also want to go and make myself some more brick blocks. I forgot actually what we need exactly for that. So I'm going to have to quickly check into that. This one can be scrapped or sold. I'm going to scrap this one. It sells for too little to worry about that right now. And then food and water we need to drink before we leave this place as well. So I'm just going to put this right there. Nice, finally. This assembly station, there you go. Before I forget, let's just make that thing. What's this? Festivity event deco station. I don't know if you're going to need this really for anything. Um, I think that's more for like paintings and stuff like that. At the moment, I need to focus more on... Wait, cloth sack? Doesn't this help you carry more stuff? After and back that storage 18. I think you can put stuff inside the sack and else you carry. It's just a some cloth wrapped around with some rope to form basic storage sack. Or do you put this on the floor? This is like a storage box. I think it might actually be like a storage box. I'm not going to mess around with that right now. Okay, now that we have this, this, this assembly station, this is all the stuff that we have. So we can take a battery apart. We can take the circuits apart. Uh, we can actually go and do the monitors first. So it takes the monitors out of the boxes and just gives us all these parts of here. TVs as well, there you go. Uh, fuse boxes, that's going to give us... Guys, the research data especially is going to be really, really helpful. I need to make sure though that we don't get our inventory too full because as soon as these finish, that might actually clog up the whole inventory of here. But nice. So if we can get all of the resources from these things, that's going to be uh, worth it. And it shows exactly over here which ones can be dismantled. But that also means we don't need the beds and stuff. So all of the beds, these ones over here, and any other bunk beds and stuff, all that stuff we can go and scrap. If this doesn't show in the disassembly station, you can also just go and sell or scrap it as well. The circuit boards we can take apart, but I don't want to. That's the stuff we really need. Satellite, we can actually go sell. Light, we can keep. We can actually sell these. Let me just make sure again at the, uh, the, uh, the disassembly station. But for now, we can actually go and scrap these and sell the rest. All the rest of you, I want to keep them for now. These things over here. Okay. Ooh. It just filled up. See, if it fills up like that, I'm afraid that's going to uh, drop stuff out. Now, if that happens, we're going to actually lose a few things as well. Okay, tools go over here, right? I'm going to put that in there. This on me. And then, yeah, let me just see. Can't we go and perhaps... It doesn't show these at all. So these, all the ovens, all that stuff we just sell. Nice. It's just TVs and breaker boxes and stuff, basically. Okay, TVs, computers, and breaker boxes. That's all we can actually take apart. That's all I'm going to focus on. The rest of these things we can just go and sell immediately. But these beds, we want to scrap, actually. If you can scrap those, you're going to get way more parts and springs and stuff. And we need the springs later on as well. So what I'm going to do is quickly put these down then. I need to make sure that I also put that bed down because I want to go and... I should probably just range these when I come across them. It's also, I think, not going to take so much space in my inventory if you range them immediately. Like, uh, like the, the weight isn't going to be as bad. I think the, the parts for the, uh, that you get from the bed are way, way lighter than the bed itself. So if I can get into the habit of just ranging these from now on. Right there on the spot. I need to make sure we have our range on us at all times. We just range it on the spot and we are good to go. Oops. My mic just now. Uh, this is going to finish one at a time. Let me just really range all of these. I'll get back to you guys now. Okay, so I want to make some nuts and bolts because we need it for the big storages. If I make 20, it's going to use 20 iron ingots, but it's going to make 100 of here. So in about 1 minute 30, we're going to have 100 of these. And then we'll finally be able to make ourselves a large storages over here. So iron storage, you just need those. Um, we might actually need a few hinges as well, but we might be able to craft those, I hope. We have everything else that we need. We just need hinges now, so hopefully we actually have those. Hinge. Iron hinge, blacksmith's forge. Yeah, we can make those as well. And it makes two per. So at the moment, if I just make two hinges, we should actually have enough for three storages. Let's just do that at the back. I want to go to the trader quickly because I want to make sure we accept a new quest and then we just sell these to him as well. 
yeah already ate already drank everything's looking good next episode i think we should start focusing on the horde base because i have a cool idea of what i want to try and do um uh, like i said though i don't know i don't know if i should make it over here or not because those blocks underneath are bugged i'm just afraid that some of the blocks up here might start bugging better spider let me see let me see if i can just quickly kill went over his head wait what the hell I don't know if I'm shooting too low or too high. Let me just go to him then. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, no, don't you dare break anything on mine now. Crap. No, 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 no. Imagine he breaks my leg just because I came over to him. Come on. There you go. My aiming sucks. Since we started the base over here, we're probably going to have to make the horde base here, but I just hope the blocks don't bug. I really, really hope that if they start bugging, we have a massive problem. But yeah, all I have to do is just really see if the trader doesn't have a quest or two for us. Could you be uh, so first things first, we're going to sell these. Wake the dead? Oh, I could have wrenched some of that stuff. Okay, uh, we sold those and then we go Thank for God a job with the Next time I'll charge you for that. Bitch, we need, we need to do something really, really close by. Did we do the office building and the Tudor building? I don't think so. Let's go for the closest one then. This complicated grave. There's this complicated yada yada yada. <laughs> okay, we need to start saving for cash as well because we need that shotgun. And then I want to do this. So when I go mining again for some iron, we can get stacks and stacks of iron again. The... Yeah, let me just get that as well. Okay, so what I need to do now, guys, is we need to go and just make sure everything is done at the base. Um, Yeah, the storages will be done next episode. I'm just really, really hoping that when we pick up these storages now, it's not going to bug out the rest again as well. But we'll see that next episode. So if you guys like this episode, please leave a like, share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Undead Legacy fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or the Patreon link in the description down below.